Is there a spot for her when you look at the political mm -hmm. landscape where it seems like she could fit? I don't see a spot for her in California, that's for sure. I mean, she's not going to challenge Dianne Feinstein, who says she wants to run again for the Senate. And um, as we know, she she lost, and she lost in a, in a pretty brutal uh, in a pretty brutal run in California for governor where she spent a tremendous amount of her own money. We should remind viewers, I'm sure they know this, but Meg Whitman is also the former chief executive of eBay where she first came to um, a tremendous amount of prominence and, and sort of really taking that auction startup, which we used to call back in the old days of dot com and building it to what it is. You know, she's a revered business person. She's someone who's, uh, you know, who has always expressed interest in having a big public life and being that kind of public figure. It hasn't worked out for her. There is no room for her in California. California right now, I would say. I can't see her either on a national stage. She, especially if we should point out for this moment of time where we see a populist, poli populist politics, politics and people who really are the cult of personality, I wouldn't say, frankly, that that is her strength. I'm just looking at a headline from back in September from the Fortune. HP's Meg Whitman won't be Uber's CEO, but she could be the first female president. So <laughs> <laughs> we're not the only ones talking about this going forward. But I want to circle back, actually, to just what we were talking about as far as Uber's concerned and some of the questions that were raised at the time about whether or not she would actually relish this opportunity and where the decision-making happened and whether or not she wanted to remain. Do you think that undermines the rest of the board and perhaps investors' confidence in Meg Whitman's future at Hewlett? Packard she wasn't loyal to the company because even having these conversations suggests that you know your eyes are looking at but other here's things. the thing you have to remember and again we were saying what an extraordinary opportunity uber was you know this behemoth of a business with this behemoth of a valuation but yet plagued by so many internal problems and very specifically a cultural problem among, among women yes and that is something that you know, Meg Whitman, as, as we've said, as we've discussed, wants to be someone who leaves a public mark, who has always coupled her corporate life with a sense of civic duty as well. And what better fit, you would think, for someone um, in that circumstances than to sort of think, I can rebuild, I can be the one to take this company over. I agree with you. Would it have been something the board considered? Absolutely. But whether or not it was an opportunity that she felt she couldn't bypass is, I think, a different issue. You different? wonder if perhaps there were signs that this was imminent, because she did step down from the board of Hewlett Packard, HPQ. Uh, right around the time that speculation was right that she was going to take the job as Uber CEO. She already split up HP into yes. two parts. So you could say that her mission was completed, right? Because that was something that was very gut-wrenching, and she, she made that move. So she's brought stability to the company. She accomplished what she wanted to do. I think it's a hugely important point for people who don't know HP as well and who don't know what role that company plays in the Valley. You know, you have to realize that in Silicon Valley, HP was seen as the founder innovation, the real springboard of that culture where, you know, innovation was celebrated and people, you know, experimental, what people did during their day, it wasn't viewed as a job, but almost a calling at HP and how she's, how that company has evolved and in particular, as you say, splitting the business yeah. between enterprise and printers and, 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 and the computer, the sort of hardware side of the business that we would talk about it was very fundamental. Whether it's really how that's how those two companies are going to perform now is a different question. But I, I am interested to see the amount of pullback we're seeing. I, obviously, her time was not infinite. At, and so um, we'll see if this is just an immediate reaction and we see some pullback. Uh, the, the, her successor is the current president. Uh, so so, so I, there's continuity exactly, here. Exactly. There should be some, some continuity there.